I think it is quite a piece of ship. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to a Dayton Dissects of Shiplord. Uh, I have an affinity with this game simply because I've been a shiplord for my entire life. White cisgender shiplord. So, as you progress through the levels, there are different ranks for each level. Uh, starts with wood, then goes to bronze, silver, gold, and then finally diamond. And you will get one upgrade point for each badge, medal, that you attain. The upgrade points can be used to decrease the time that it takes for Quasar to spawn, which is basically uh, the thing that you're going for, the thing that increases your score. Then you can decrease your... Your shield's cooldown time, you can increase the length of the shield. Uh, there's a, a stop, it's called the force field, that basically freezes all the asteroids in place. Uh, so you can increase the slow time of that, or the cooldown of that. And finally there's the energy collector, which uh, collects Quasar. And is pretty, pretty useful. But right now I'm going to go a little split down the middle for this goodness shield. And I do have a little bit in energy collector as well. So here we go. That's interesting. It sends you right back to the main menu uh, when you go back. So you have to start the game again and click continue. There's little things like that that uh, really obliterate the score of this game. But we will get to that when we get to that. So without further ado, let's jump into level 4. I've attained gold badges on all of these levels so I can fight the boss at any time, but even the boss is kind of uh, repetitive. There's a bit of artificial difficulty there with the, the one-hit KOs, but uh, I guess you could make it through on the first time, which is basically how I judge whether difficult is artificial or not. Even once you've uh, seen it before, it's still exceedingly difficult. So she's telling me my things are Energy up. Ready. Energy collector, boom, there it is. I got this for force field ready to go. And uh, the ship does feel a little bit too slippery. Like, uh, I get nervous moving near asteroids. I don't feel like I'm completely in control at any time. Um, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> So, I should have uh, popped my force field at that point. Your force field will allow you to basically blast your way through asteroids and uh, not take any, well, you can't take any damage, but not take the, the hit from them that would potentially kill you. Uh, but I have a hard time using the shield just because I know I might need it a little bit later. So I kind of dipped up there, cleaned up the asteroids a little bit. But now we've got a bunch more coming through. And it's just sort of a balancing act between your skills and whatnot. The asteroids do get faster, the bosses do get tougher. Uh, but I think this game lacks a lot of depth. It doesn't really feel like much of a game. Uh, and while there's ships to unlock and a lot of replayability is offered, it's not really that impressive to me. It's, it's a good start for a game, maybe a good basis for a game. Um, but overall, I don't think it feels like something I'd sit down and play endlessly. Because, I mean, I guess the ship looks decent enough. The music's a little bare bones. Uh, but overall, just the objective. You know, collect these things. Why? So you can get a better medal. Why? So you can go on to the next levels. Why? <laughs> so you can upgrade your ship. Why? There's no reason. No reason that... I can discern to upgrade your ship. Perhaps they do offer different skills or things like that. Uh, but even then, the core gameplay remains the same, and that is just flying around trying not to get hit by asteroids and bumping into little dots. <laughs> not the most engaging thing I've ever seen. This game is not um, quite up to par in my book. It needs a bit more polish, it needs a bit more identity, it needs uh, a bit more inspiration, if you ask me. Freeze all the asteroids. God damn it. Oh my god. Okay, everything's fine. Yeah. We're great. We're awesome. Recharged. 
you really got to take advantage of the shield and the energy collector and all of your skills when it's up if you do want to rank diamond because uh, it's pretty hard we've got 30 seconds left I just became wood because uh, I've been being really cautious <laughs> in this run I don't want to fuck it up but we'll see what it does oh my god there <laughs> I was feeling a little pinned in, man. Like a caged animal, brah. Can't do that to me, man. Alright. It's almost over. I think we only got wood. A wood badge. But I got gold before, so... I take it. Already a legend. That's right, brah. Dayton does, brah. What you know, brah? Alright, so here's the, the first boss. The second boss shoots missiles and shit like that, but... Basically, all the bosses have a, a pre-arranged pattern of like two or three stages. They also have three different three different difficulties um, if you like to increase your your rank and whatnot. Not the only one with this information, sir. We're being hit with the energy beam. I'm afraid we lost. Voice acting's not fantastic. So especially here, this, you can really notice the uh, the lack of sound assets. It doesn't sound that great, uh, the shooting of his gun. And, oh my god, I suck. Oh well, we're gonna try this thing one more time and I'll get to the score breakdown as I'm... It, it takes so many times uh, to defeat the bosses, that's why I was kind of talking about artificial difficulty before. But, you see that man? Ship's just too slippery. I don't know, you'll see it in the review score. The controls, I gave a 4 out of 10. Uh, I mean, the the ship controls are not horrible. They are a little too slippery and slidey and sensitive. But, um, you know, your lady doesn't complain about that. <laughs> uh, no, but, uh, like, things like the menu. You know what I mean? If I'm upgrading stuff and then I hit back or escape, it takes me all the way back to like the main menu and things like that are just obviously not optimized need to be looked at again so I did place the controls below average at a 4 out of 10 holy shit you gotta wait until these things are fucking like almost past you I had to train my brain I died so many times here the fun factor in this game I gave it 2 out of 10 it's just really not that motivating for me to play um, I get frustrated more than anything and uh, I don't really see the point in the frustration it's not as bad as a game like see that shit man fucking it's not as bad as a game like why so evil but it's still extremely extremely frustrating um yeah I, I I have a hard time putting into words how um, how little fun I'm having with this game I don't know not not as bash of the creators it just needs to be worked through a little more this is like this is a bare bones for a game, you know what I mean? It's it's the start of a game. It does not feel complete to me at all. Um, so yeah, fun factor is a 2 out of 10. Sorry about that. Uh, difficulty, I've given an 8 out of 10. I did knock a little po a couple points off for the artificial, na artificial nature of it. But um, overall, it is extremely difficult. Um, one hit deaths does a lot for that. However, I think uh, it shouldn't be so overzealous necessarily. Maybe uh, you can get upgrades later or something like that. But no, it's always one hit deaths here. So that's that's a painful thing. Uh, but it will make you very good at shoot 'em ups if that's what you're looking for. The replayability I've given a 4 out of 10. It's below average as well. There are ships to unlock uh, and different medals and things like that. But where something like Jump Jet Rex had a lot of depth and was super awesome. Um, this game doesn't deliver on that front as much. You're just looking at the background of space and it's not that interesting uh, and changing the color of your ship isn't going to do much to change that for me. So the replayability I've given a 4 out of 10. Innovation is a 3 out of 10. Um, I could have taken it a little lower than that I feel but I didn't want to blast this game too hard since the depth really was nice. Um, but yeah. The game doesn't really innovate in any way that I can tell. It's kind of just 
cruising around in the space cruiser, yes. dodging the asteroids. I've I've seen it all before, and it doesn't really add anything new aside from taking away your weapons, which, you know, is kind of cool, but also more of a, a frustration thing than anything. So that is the gameplay side. For the aesthetic side, the graphics I've given a 7 out of 10. I do rather like them. Even the effects on these little weird bubbly missile things uh, are pretty cool. The ships are designed pretty well. So this is the highest score aside from difficulty, is the graphics. Um, it could still be stepped up a notch, but I feel for an indie game that it is uh, above average. So good job there, fellas. The music I've given a 5 out of 10, uh, I have said that it feels rather bare bones, just a few synth pads, things like that. Holy shit, I might actually make it. Dude, fuck, you piece of shit. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta concentrate. Um, so yeah, the music here on the menu, pretty good, 5 out of 10. Uh, it's about average for me, nothing that really overtakes me. It all feels really basic um, overall. For the sound effects, I've given it a 3 out of 10. They are rather low uh, quality, if you ask me. The assets don't sound great. Um, they hurt a little bit in your ears, which I, I don't think is supposed to happen. So yeah, 3 out of 10 for sound effects. Story, I've given a 6 out of 10. I do like the conflict between the humans and the... The Crips is what they're called, C-R-Y-P-S, and uh, I'd like them to get a little more into like the political aspects of it instead of just like, we're enemies, grrr, because that's boring, we've seen all that before. Um, yeah, and finally, the level design, I've given a 1 out of 10. It's basically as bare bones as you can get. I guess I like the, the different combinations of the asteroids and whatnot, but overall, uh, it left me really, really disappointed, which is, is a shame. I do actually happen to have an extra copy of Shiplord, so if you'd like this game to add to your library, uh, perhaps you do enjoy shoot 'em ups and the laid-back nature, maybe? I mean, it's not really laid-back, it's pretty hardcore, but, uh, uh, I've gone on enough about it. Uh, please leave a comment if you'd like a copy of it. Thank you. So friends, the final score for Shiplord is a 43 out of 100. That is a 2.15. Only a 2 out of 5 stars. Um, yeah, it did not do much for me at all, unfortunately. I'm thinking about knocking the last star off of my review score to make it a little more comprehensive and uh, put things a little more where they belong easily divisible by two. Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.